Beating Time, commemorating the removal of poetry as a requirement in Arizona schools, August 1997. The governor interdicted poetry is evicted from our curricula. For metaphor and rhyme take time from science. Our children's self-reliance rests upon the things we count on. The laws of engineering, poeteering squanders time. And time is money, he said. Let the chips fall where they may. The governor's voice fell down through quicksilver microchip song, hummed along, and the law was delivered to its hearing. The students of engineering bent their numbers in silent classrooms, where the fans overhead whispered, I am, I am, in iambic pentameter. Unruly and fractious numbers were discarded at the bell. In the crumpled cast-off equation, small black figures shaped like tadpoles formed a nation unobserved in the waste paper basket. Outside, a storm is about to crack the sky. Lightning will score dry riverbeds, peeling black the mud like a plow, bellowing, taking out bridges completely unexpectedly. And the children too young to have heard of poetry's demise turn their eyes to the windows to see what they can count on. They will rise and dance to the iam of the fans, whispering illicit rhymes, watching the sky for a sign while the rain beats time. Barbara Kingsolver. Yeah. We love poetry.